Hello and welcome to What's in the Box here at Mapping Key Gaming. My name is Emmanuel and today we are looking at the deluxe edition of Paint the Roses, a most curious cooperative game. Now, Paint the Roses is a game by Ben Goldman with art by Jacques Davis. Jacques Davis? Jackie Davis? Davis? I don't know. The art on it though looks simply amazing. Now I did get this off of Kickstarter and there were two little things that came with it. This little bundle of cards here that says the Caterpillar and then this little thing here that says Cheshire Kitten promo on it. So we'll be taking a look at those at the end. With one thing to note on the deluxe edition of the game is that it does come in a little bit longer box. So with the Marvel uh, United boxes, this box here probably has uh, maybe about an inch and a half to two inches in length. Width, they're, they're the same. It's longer than most of your normal boxes. So on the back of the box here, it just says Deluxe Edition, the name of the game, a little bit of artwork here, and then it does give you the player count of it being two to five players, ages 11 and up, and it plays approximately 60 minutes. And it is by North Star Games Studio. Like I said, I did get this off of Kickstarter, and so it did come with those couple of promos. Now with this being the deluxe version, the expansion that they had for it should be on the inside. And that's what you're seeing here with the with the different with the different characters here, uh, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, the Cheshire Cat, and then the Jabberwock here, and even Alice herself. These are all part of the expansion. And here we go. You know what? Because this is so long, we're gonna take this the long way, I think. Okay, so I just uh, turned it to the side. That way we can uh, see everything that's inside the box because it, with it being so long, it is a little um, a little odd. Now it does look like a box of chocolates. So the very first thing that I do see here is the rule book. Don't like reading the rules, I'll watch the how to play. Cool. It does give a dedication there on the inside with a little bit of a story from uh, Alice in Wonderland. And then, okay, we were talking about the, the different components here. Cool. And then the objective of the game and then the setup. And then here's the how to play. Okay, looks like there's different phases of the game. Uh, the tiles. Uh, looks like she's stacking up. The queen there. Off with their heads. Two player rules. Okay, there's an expert variation. Okay, to make it maybe a little bit more difficult. Okay, here's a little something about the cards. And then about note taking. Huh. Interesting. And then a FAQ there, and then the credits. And then on the back it does have a player aid. So that was the rules. Now, this looks like a box of chocolates. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. That's exactly what this looks like. Oh my, and there's more stuff underneath. Okay, this top is on pretty good. It's secured pretty decently. Oh wow, look at all of this here, cool. All right, so we'll take a look at the uh, Queen of Hearts here. Looking kind of cool. Going to be chasing after us. Here's the White Rabbit. Awesome. Nice and detailed, these guys here. Oh, and then this must be the guys uh, painting the... Uh, or actually, I guess this represents you and the other players painting the roses. So there are just uh, some cubes here in different colors. Nothing special there. These roses, which are stackable, that's kind of cool. Huh. They look nice. You get four of those. And then here in the center we have some tiles. Now these tiles here in the center do have a green border around them. I don't know if you can see that. Versus these ones here on the side that don't. So I'm not sure if that affects the gameplay at all. But I will tell you right now, picking up these tiles, these are kind of chunky. These are, these have a little bit of weight to them. It's kind of nice. Cool. It has little, um, has like little steps on the very bottom there. So these tiles, they sit on those steps and then that's why they have this, um, 
little like cascading kind of an, of an effect. That's pretty cool. Yeah, these, these tiles are great. Now I know there is some uh, controversy because North Star did write their name on the back of all these tiles. But my understanding is when you play the game, you play it with the with these symbols up. So this actually doesn't really matter. <laughs> but well, we'll see when I play it. You know, the corporate branding, you know what? In this day and age, it's everywhere. Now here we have two additional books okay we have the queen's royal log okay let's see what it, huh using the scoring log okay so this looks like maybe this helps you keep track with scoring on the different number of players oh that's interesting okay that's a little something extra and then here we have Okay, yeah, Escape uh, the Castle. So this is the rule book then for the expansion, is what this is. That's what we're looking at here. And so, yeah, there you go. The objective here, uh, Escape the Castle components. The modules, the, there's different modules because I guess the different characters that you choose uh, change the game up. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And I believe each character was designed by a different person. So here, right, the, Chesh the Cheshire Cat here was designed by uh, Dominique. I don't know how to sp pronounce that name there. But there are different designers that did each of the uh, of the different characters. So that's, that's cool. And then here's the board. Okay, so I don't know if we can see it here. It is a, a fairly thick board. Nothing on the back side, which that's all right. Because, you know, you're going to be playing it face down anyway. And it is uh, recessed, so let's grab a tile here. So that guy there will sit in there, and then he's pretty much locked in place. He's not moving anywhere, so that's nice. And then castle looks pretty, uh, pretty good. And then the garden looks awesome. Yeah, this is this is a really nice board. Oh, there you go, and you can see there with the dual layering, where the where the tiles are going to be locked into place. And then here we have, wow, we have like way more stuff. So we have a black bag, and that's uh, for the tiles. And then here are some additional tiles. They're giving us, what is it, looks like here, five additional tiles here. So maybe those are used specifically for one of the characters. Then we have some key tokens. Now these are just punched out uh, cardboard, and they all each have their own different design. So that's kind of nice. And you, we have like five of them here. And then we have, okay, so this is also a re recessed board also that'll lock the little tokens in. And it looks like this is maybe like a greenhouse, maybe? That's what, what we're going for here. Cool. And then here we have, okay, medium and hard sheets here. Not exactly sure how these play in the game, but they're giving us a, a nice stack of them. And here there is also this right here placement order so we have a, a, a nice stack of those as well and then we have these little tokens here of a uh, drink me uh oh that's that that can't be good and then eat me oh yeah for sure this is a uh, this is where the game gets dangerous right <laughs> and then so I'll crack open these cards here and uh, we'll take a look at them now I will tell you that these cards are a little bit smaller than your average card Captain Marvel card, which is a standard size card from uh, from Marvel United, and then there you go. So that that right there tells you that there's definitely a size difference. <laughs> so they are smaller in the hand, and these just say hard on it. They're red and just as a color to color, shape to shape, color to shape. Not exactly sure, but we have okay different um, maybe different tile combinations here. The artwork on it looks really nice. Check. And here's another set of hard. I don't see. Yeah, there's no. So similar to what those other cards were there. Cool. Okay, so we have two mediums and then two easies. So the medium bags here, 
color to color, shape to shape. I'm not exactly sure what all that means, but I'm pretty sure once we uh, get into the game, we'll figure that out. Yeah. More of the same there. And then here are the easy cards. Just this color to color on the back. And now let's look at some of these uh, character cards here. So here's Alice. rabbit and so it's all, it's all text on the bottom of the of these character uh, character decks here yeah the Mad Hatter there's the Jabberwocky and there's not too many cards for each one of these Queen of Hearts. Now Tweedledee and Tweedledum have objective cards. This objective right on the back. And then they have regular cards, which are just like the other ones that are just text cards. And then the Cheshire Cat is the same way, regular cards. Yeah, and then these are his objective cards. Now I'm pretty sure that there's probably a way to set these all up in here, because I noticed that they don't quite sit exactly the right way. See, there's a little bit of sliding there, but um, yeah, so that's everything that comes in the deluxe version of Paint the Roses. This tray here, I don't know if this tray is meant to come out or not. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's meant to stay put. But it does have a pretty cool insert there. And then it has, what is it, the, the boards and then these pieces here. And so now let's take a look at the extra cards from the Kickstarter. Okay, so let's start with the Cheshire Cat here. The, the Cheshire Cat here is, is really small. Okay, so the Cheshire Cat here is... Oh, okay, so it's just two little cards. Hmm. The Cheshire Kitten. Okay. And then here is the Caterpillar. Okay, so you get an extra character. And then two extra objectives. Uh, and that's what you got as a bonus for getting it off of Kickstarter. So if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I will be doing a follow-up video on this, doing some uh, gameplay stuff. And uh, give us a like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I will be doing a whole lot of videos coming up here. I do a whole lot of uh, unboxing videos, enhancement videos, and uh, how to plays and some gameplay stuff. Please like and subscribe down below. So until next time, off with their heads.